Hi guys, I'm Derek Ritter from Ritter Creek, and today I'm going to show you how I labeled and assorted my uh, French counters from Croix de Guerre into um, my Reiko tray. Thanks for watching. So here is my Reiko tray, and here is the Brother P Touch that I used to make the labels that go in it. So the nice thing about the Brother P Touch is um, this model of it, it's around $100. Um, I know you can get some label makers for about $30, but this one, um, you can hook it to your computer so you can uh, type, put in graphics and uh, type the stuff directly into your computer and see what it'll look like before you uh, print it instead of just using the, um, the pad uh, that's on the P-Touch. So another nice thing, the cartridges for them, I use 12 millimeter cartridges and I buy them on eBay, I think, and they're very, very cheap. If you get them at Staples, you'll probably pay like 22 bucks for a cartridge. On eBay, you'll pay $2, they're extremely cheap. So, and they come in a variety of colors. You can get black on blue, white on blue, black on red, white on red, I mean, just black on green, you know, so you can do all your nationalities, the labels in the colors that, uh, that represent that country. So let's open it up. This is similar to what we're selling, except this uh, particular one does not have the clear top. You see the, um, the little rectangles on it, so it doesn't close as well. The ones that you would be getting would have the clear top and close properly. So, and I mean close properly, it's just a little snug. So uh, let's just, I'm just going to uh, show you all the trays. Now, on the larger ones, I'm using, um, a mix of A75s and A78. So the A75 has the five holders, the A78s have the eight holders and they lift out. All right, then uh, there's three separate groups that came uh, for the French in Croix de Gare. They have the uh, regular French, which I just called the French, and uh, then they have the free French, which um, which have the little white, white French little symbol there on them as you can see on some of those. And then they have the Vichy French, which have the German colored border around them. Okay, so we'll get to those in a minute. Okay, so I started with my French 1940, which I'll just keep referring to as the French. Um, the three different forms of squads, the 458, 457, 437, and then the two, the large and the small question marks. Then we go to the half squads, which are 248, 237, 227. 228 127 crews, and then the 127 crews have the armor leaders thrown in there too. And then we have the half squads at 338, 248, 247. Oop, I think I forgot the free French full squads. So we have the 648, 458, 457, 447, 436. And then we have the 338, 248, 247, 237, 226. In the corner, there's an F for French, an FF for free French, and then a, let's see if I can find a V, and then a V in the corner for Vichy French. Okay, so in here we have our leaders, and then over here we have support weapons. So some of them are a mix of French and free French, and some of them are just French. And then we have over here, acquisition counters, and then free French exclusive weapons. And then we have over here, free French crews and leaders, and heroes, of course. Now let's get to the lower level. And here we're gonna have the Vichy. So the Vichy would be all the squads, there'll be an empty tray right there. And then the leaders and heroes, they're all in one. Then the half squads, the vehicle crews, the infantry crews. And then we get into the vehicles and you can set them out anytime you want. I'll name them to you because it took me a minute to figure out how to get them all to fit. So I've got the uh, Latiel Tar H2 armor car, Lafley S20 TL, Lafley armor car, uh, S15T and V15T, then AMD 35, Lorraine 38L, Lorraine 37L44, Lafley W15TC, Unic PO7, AMC 
half track, Samoa half track, FT17M tankette, CKP19 half track, Renault APC, uh, Renault UE APC, FT1775 BS tankette, CKP17 half track, FT17C tankette. And then we come down here and we have some Vichy support weapons. So we have the, uh, well, you can see what we have here. And I don't know how that little infantry crew got in there, but he doesn't belong. So, and then we get to more vehicles. We have the B1 BIS heavy tank, S35 medium tank, Valentine 5 heavy tank, D2 medium tank, AMR 33 tankette, FCM 36 light tank, D2L medium tank, AMR 35 tankette. Now for the trucks, I did all my unarmed trucks in one holder and all my armed trucks in another holder. Then we get to the uh, guns, infantry gun 65, and then infantry gun 37. So the difference between those two, I could have put them the same, but I had an extra spot. So those two infantry guns, one is the half inch counter and one is the five eighths counter. Then we get our anti-tank guns, our mortars, our uh, artillery pieces and our AA guns, but I forgot to make a sticker for that, so I will. And then we have our more tanks, R35 light tank, R35L light tank, R40 light tank, H35 light tank, H35L light tank, D1 medium tank, H39 light tank, and H39L light tank. And that's it. And everything fits in comfortably. I was a little intimidated because there were so many counter sheets, but um, I was impressed. The Rayco did it in, in one tray. So that's great. When you buy the uh, Reiko Handy Box, it comes with four of these trays. So you can essentially do four nationalities with one Handy Box. So it's how I like to store mine. Well, thanks for watching. Good luck and you have a great day. I have a video that I made a number of years ago on how to, a step-by-step -step on how to make um, some neat labels for your Reikos or for any other um, storage system that you have. If you click on the link, it should, should be below, Label Maker Tutorial, and um, that should get you started. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.